How's it going everybody? A Pillow here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I am. And today we are in fact doing another TF2 Tuesday. This time we've got a voiceover though. And this voiceover is in fact uh, not scripted whatsoever because I'm dyslexic and I don't read script or make script because that would be tedious and horrible because I'd never read them properly anyway. Um, but anyway, people who have been with my channel would know that I used to be a spy main in TF2. And uh, I mean like a long time ago, like nearly 10 years ago probably, I'd like to say. I was a spy main. Yes, it'd be over, it'd be 10 years now that I was a spy main. And I used to pub stomp and everything else back in 2013, 2014, maybe even pushing in 2015. Uh, used to absolutely pub stomp as a spy had absolutely great time as a spy and I used to do really well at the game and lately obviously because of the bot crisis and all that lot I, play, I still used to play the game but not as much or as like on and off outside of PlayStation era and a whole fast era and stuff like that essentially I didn't play the game for nearly three years and I've kind of come back and I've gone oh fuck I can't play spy anymore like, everything I do just seems to be really, really unlucky. Now, it's just breaking bad habits and stuff like that, but I'm I'm starting to watch videos on Spy again to learn what the new metas are and all that lot. I'm not going to be a Kunai Spy. I never will be a Kunai Spy. I couldn't use the Kunai when it first came out. I don't plan on using it now. Um, I might make a video on the Kunai, but that's going to be as much content towards the Kunai as I'm going to give. I don't care for the weapon that much at all, so... Um, anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying this TFT content. If you have, leave a like. Uh, and subscribe, because there will be more TF2, don't get me wrong. Uh, obviously I will be playing all the classes in TF2, because being just by main channel would be incredibly saturated and kind of boring, I would imagine. Uh, so I will be playing a lot of other classes. Just expect a small montage in every single time of spy gameplay though. Like if I'm playing Medic for example, uh, expect just for no reason, I could be talking about Medic as well, but just expect a uh, spy gameplay to show up there because I'm trying to get better at spy. Until I'm back to where I was where I could just... Uh, it doesn't matter what map I load into, I just know that I'm going to beat the shit out of the enemy team as spy, because that's what I used to be doing. Um, yeah, but until I'm back to that kind of level, which is going to be a long time, the player base has gotten a lot better at spy checking and everything else. So that means new spy methods, new big brain moments that you're gonna have to, I'm going to have to learn to and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to seriously pick up TF2 again. I haven't played TF2 in a long, long time, and I, I want to play TF2. That's the thing. Hopefully, this TF2 update is here to stay, and the bots are finally gone, gone. Obviously, everyone knows that the TF2 uh, chart don't lie and that there are still a humongous amount of bots in the game. But they're not aggressive bots, they're passive bots. And I'm uh, fine with that, to be fair. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. Anyway, so moving on. So yeah, this is going to be, yet yeah, again, we're going back to the form again. I'm going to be playing Spy more often. Um, don't expect that I won't just play Spy. Don't expect me just to play Spy though, because I'm not going to just play Spy. Uh, that was one of the reasons I burned out on the game, is that I was just playing Spy. And it caused me to have massive burnout sessions, because I couldn't... I just couldn't pick up the game anymore. I looked at it way too long, looked at the same coloured textures for way too long. And that's what burned me out originally. So, currently... Team Fortress 2 has 1,329 hours on my account, okay? By 2026, I call it, I want it to be my top played game, okay? I'll be honest, I want it to be my top played game. Now, my top played game is a monstrous 2,805 at 0.1 hours on Gary, okay? And Gary's Mod holds a very special place in my heart because it is the first game I played. The only reason I got TF2 was to play Gary, okay? Same with CSGO. And that 
it sits in second place at 1,399 hours. So realistically, by the end of August, we'll call it, I might have more hours in TF2 than I do in Counter-Strike. Mostly because I'm not playing Counter-Strike that much anymore because I don't really like the path it's gone with since they made it Counter-Strike 2 rather than just releasing a new game. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, so, I hope you guys are enjoying this content because there's plenty of PS2 content on the way. Also, I hope you guys are enjoying the VR stuff and also the... Uh, flat screen stuff where I'm playing like Warhammer and stuff like that with my mates because they will also be sticking around as well. Uh, their less edited stuff tend to be but they will still be sticking around. This is going to be like my one month weekly edited if video. So yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you in tf two uh, Tuesday next week. Oh by the way also there is uh, going to be a massive unboxing next actually so over the last uh or over the last year when i lot was last playing tf2 when i was streaming it and all that lot uh, i don't remember if i actually said it in the videos or not but i ended up buying uh, a load of cases just all of the cases all the gun cases and all one of each of them and i've got a massive unboxing to do which will be coming out probably next week instead of the tf2 tuesday it'll be a nice little unboxing video uh, there will be probably a little bit of gameplay in it, but not a lot because it's a fairly longish recording piece. So, and most of it will be fairly raw because it's just an unboxing. Uh, I have still got hats that have be just been given away. If you're interested in one, uh, feel free to join my Discord and just you know uh, go to the channel, which is the uh, show for free hats. I think it's called. Uh, what is it? Screenshot hat. That's the one in the Discord server, feel free to just jump down there and just uh, oh, show me that you've subscribed to the channel, liked any one of my videos, and uh, yeah, uh, then I'll message you privately to get your Steam name so that I can send you a hat, or a cosmetic of some description, not always guaranteed to be a hat, but I still have plenty of them kicking around, so if you are interested in that, I don't have a lot to, I'll be honest, I don't have a lot of them left, but I do have some of them left, so there is limited supply at the current moment in time. So if you want one, please feel free to stop by Discord, Discord's down in the description. Uh, and I thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>